What happened to your family? Well, my parents were deported in 1942. My aunt and uncle were also deported the same year. So was my grandmother. My elder sister had managed to get to England just before the war broke out. And Renate, my second sister, and I uh, were caught in the Holocaust. What did you do? I got up this morning and I came here to talk to you. How did you and your sister escape the Holocaust? That's a very good question, but I was never asked about it uh, during that project. What about the rest of your family? My memories of my family life before the war are really very positive, very happy. I think I was very lucky uh, to have a family, um, you know, yeah, it was, I can't remember a single friction I know we were brought up very strictly, we were not allowed any luxuries, I was never allowed to sit in an armchair for instance, which I think was very looking back rather funny. And uh, we were made to speak French on Sundays, which I thought was stupid. But I understand what my father was after. But what I most remember about my family now is this unbelievable um, determination not to let the Nazis get the better of us. We sort of pretended that life was normal and we had a habit on Saturday afternoons that the family should meet and my father would read the classics to us. We thought it was a bit boring but I'm very very glad we did that and I think what it meant to him is to lift us above what was going on in reality at that time, namely the pursuing of Jewish people in order to kill them. So my memory of my home is very, very positive indeed. The Jews are our misfortune, Heinrich von Tretzky. Margaret Friedman wore this wedding dress on one of the happiest days of her life, June 24, 1939, when she married Mark Marin in Amsterdam. After their son, Henry, was born in 1941, Mark received a deportation notice. The couple made a decision to place their son in hiding with a, with a non-Jewish woman while they hid separately. The family was reunited in 1945. Margaret's wedding dress was one of the few belongings the family brought with them to America in 1941. Wow. And here's the wedding dress. <clears throat> Families. Lived through this horrific life experience. Some other belongings. I will never forget those wonderful and happy times. They are written in memory in my memory book in the ink of love with the warmest feeling from my heart. Esther Ziner Lucky. Here is Rose Philip and her husband Otto.
these objects are special ornaments objects for that decorate the Torah they're 400 300 years old explosions ornaments of the Torah over 300 years old Alfred Gottschuk Paul Hyman, Alice Price, and Henry Meyer. Local survivors. So select the local survivor to hear reflections on rising violence. Sir, yeah. pictures and pictures and short videos are okay. Just don't take long videos of our museum if that's okay. Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, just just short, short videos. So we just want people visiting us, and we don't want it to spread around social media too much. Sure, sure. Thank you. 